Hi guys, today I'm going to do a work day slash like I'm going to be making envelopes for myself. It's going to be really fun, exciting. I have a huge, huge, huge order um, of labels that we're going to make. Um, I have some receipts here I need to write down in my budget book for Friday. I've got my coffee. This looks like this is all cream, but my coffee is actually to here. The cream just sits on the cup, you know? Anyway, this is a brown sugar latte with vanilla and sweet cream cold foam. My ice is all melted, but this is my favorite, favorite, favorite drink at the moment with oat milk. Um, and I had to run to the bank for my work. So when I dropped off the change, I made myself a drink and then I went to Target. I went to Dollar Tree and I had to get candy at Dollar Tree for my work. And then... I went to Target to look for shorts, but I couldn't find any, so I think I'm going to order some on Amazon. I said in my last video I was going to look at Walmart, but I have two from there, and I really like them, but I just don't really care for the other colors. So I'm going to check um, Amazon, and at Target I just got a couple like grocery things, so I need to write these down. We need to make an order, a couple orders if I can. Um make me new envelopes and then later today I'm going to do my safe serve which is like my food handler's license it is um expiring so I need to redo that um I have Marlon in here he's on the ground eating a uh, Kong like toy that has frozen food on the inside so the air quality is super bad today we never get affected by like the wildfires in Canada or California but the air has shifted all that smoke to my state and so it is super bad air quality so we're not going to be hanging outside a lot today we did do a quick um fetch time fetch play time with marlin right before i came down here and then i will do one in a little bit when we're done when he starts to get antsy but i'm gonna flip the camera around um and show you guys making some orders and all the fun things this is gonna be a long chatty video not a lot of time lapses, I don't think, because I prefer not to watch them. And we're going to do orders and make my envelopes. That's going to be super fun. So let's get into okay, it. Okay, so we're going to start by writing down all of the colors for this order. You can see she has 38 in cheetah, some other colors, 18 more in cheetah. Um, so we're going to write down all the colors that I need to cut for this order. And then we're going to start putting it into my Cricut. I'm just gonna write it down on my little scrap notebook. And then I go and like check off each time I need a color. I'm also gonna scroll through all the orders. I only have three open right now um, and see if there's any more colors. So if any of the orders have cheetah, I will just cut it at the same time, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I will be right back. All right, so here is the list of all the colors we need to cut. The black and the silver hollow are the only ones that are not on that large order. So we're going to start by making all of the cheetah first, A, because that's the first in line on my list, and B, that is the one with the most colors. So I'm going to size this quickly, and then she has four of these. Okay, and then I'm gonna duplicate this and change this. And I'm just going to make all of these um, to the correct size. And she has three haircuts. And then savings i love this font poker night is my favorite and there is four of those i don't worry about making them pretty on this screen because with the cricut when you go to click make it it's going to have them all nice and neat so i'm going to create this and then i will come back when i have all of these and i'm moving them to make the most of them fit on one sheet as i can because that's like my favorite thing it's like a little game of trying to see how many i can fit on one sheet and then i will be back when i have all like 50 of the cheetah ones so i have the first 38 here i just realized that the cheetah ones are a different font so i need to change the font on here 
But what I recommend is if you use Cricut on your iPad or your phone or whatever to um, do projects like this, if you have a bunch of stuff you imported, make sure to always save because if you go to make it, sometimes it will crash and then you have to go and like retype everything. So I'm going to save as, I'm just going to name it Cheetah because that's the color that I'm doing and save to iPad. And so that way, if this crashes, I'm good. But I need to go back and change all of this to a different font, make sure that the sizing is correct. And then um, I'm going to add in the next 18 Cheetah ones. And then we can start to have my Cricut cut this all out. All right, everything is switched to the right font. And if you can see this little asterisk next to the name, that means it's not saved. So I'm just gonna click the save so that I know that it's saved. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in the next 18 and I will be back when I do that to then click make it so we can push them all onto the vinyl sheets. I know there's the reflection of my light in here, but this is the best angle I can do. I'm gonna click save. Now this is all saved and I'm gonna click make it. This is gonna take a second cause it's got a lot of labels. It's gonna try to fit them all on the pages. So it's saying that it can fit them all on six pages. But if you see there's a bot, oh my goodness, can't speak. There's a bunch of blank space. So I'm going to move these together with my finger cause my pencil sometimes likes to be all weird. And we're gonna see how many we can fit on one page. So now we're down to five pages because this last one is um, blank and we can get a couple small ones down here. So basically I'm gonna play Tetris, like I like to say, and get these. I probably can get it on four maybe. Excuse me, that might be pushing it, but I'm gonna see how many I can get this on and then I will be back to show you guys. Guys, I did it. Four mats, three and a half sheets. So I fit all of these. Oops, oh, why did I do that? This is what happens. Scoot that back over there. See how glitchy it is though? I'm like, please don't mess up. So go to next and we're gonna have it connect to my Cricut. Sometimes this is where it crashes and I really hope it doesn't because I will be so upset because it took a while to rearrange those. Um, come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. I'm gonna get out my vinyl um, with, we're using the lovely cheetah, and I'm going to get out four sheets, one, two, three, four, right here, come back up, and my mats are not super sticky, so I'm going to have to washi tape this down and use some washi tape and I'm going to get these cutting it is 1150 we will see how long it takes to cut all four sheets of vinyl I made myself a little lunchable with summer sausage to be honest I don't know if this is summer sausage or deer sausage one of the two <laughs> crackers and some cheese while I wait the first sheet is still cutting and it's 1203 um Mr. Marlin that is mom's. Thank you. That is actually mine. So I'm going to eat this and scroll on TikTok while I wait for this first sheet to cut. Don't mind my messy office, but it looks like it's like three-fourths of the way down maybe. So that's the progress. All right. So the first sheet is done. I have the second sheet in. I just cut apart this into three pieces so it's easier. So here is one sheet. I'm going to set this off. Oops. That was me, can't even blame the dog for that one. Um, but I am going to weed this sheet with you guys here, this section, excuse me, I had to turn down my cut setting because 
the company that I order this from is a local vendor and they print this cheetah uh, vinyl and I think they changed what uh, paper that they printed on or what vinyl because it's way thinner so you can see like some of the pieces are missing these are pieces I don't need because I was gonna weed them out anyway um, but I did lose a dot on the eye but I found it so I turned my setting down for the next sheet and hopefully I didn't turn it down too much because then I'm gonna have a hard time weeding it but I just figured I could chat with you guys while we weed this. Um, I can give you guys a little update on my job. I'm absolutely loving it. If you guys um, are new here, I used to be a server um, and I liked it for a while until people started bothering me. Like, I think everybody should work retail once in their life and everybody should be like a server once in their life because it is just like people just think they are so entitled and I was just getting tired of that. Um, so when my parents restaurant closed, I said I was not going to be a server ever again. I would miss the money, but there's just something about not being a server but I found this coffee shop and the owner is the sweetest person ever and um, I fell in love with it and then I saw that she was going to be hiring people and I messaged her and it has been amazing like people there that come are just so genuine and so nice and I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just people love their coffee or what, but it has been such a great work environment and um, it's been amazing. I don't dread going to work. Like, it's so fun. I get the rest of my afternoons after I'm off and I'm learning so much about coffee. Like before this, I just used to drink my Keurig pod with some sweet cream creamer and call it a day, but I learned so much about coffee and we sell Lotus Energy drinks, which are amazing. We might start doing some Red Bull um, like infusion or like, I think that's kind of what they're called, but something like that. Um, and yeah, it's just been great. So been loving that. Um, I love that I'm getting back into the budget realm and back into a routine. I think working from home was nice at first, but I think that it really just took a toll on me. I had no desire to leave the house, even though I wanted to in a sense. Um, yeah. It was a rough couple months, I think, and I'm so glad that I'm working again and just out of the house. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I am loving that I'm back in the community. You guys have been so, so supportive and that makes me so happy. I'm just rambling right now, but there's the second sheet all cut. And I'm going to do this one off camera and weed the next sheet when it gets done, load them up, and I will be back when I have all of them cut and weeded. It is now 127, which is crazy because I started this at what, 11? And I am weeding the last sheet of these labels and I still have more to cut for this order. So I should have started the next color um, since this is the last sheet of cheetah, but that I just wanted to finish cutting these or trimming the, not trimming, my goodness, weeding these so that I could just get these ones done because there is so many of them. And I did lose a couple dots of eyes, so I cut a couple little eyes and I wrote down the ones that I need eyes for 
um, the little dots because I lost a couple of them. So we're almost done here. This just shows how long some orders take. And if these were envelopes, it would have taken obviously way longer because since these are just labels, I need to cut them apart and then um, package them up. But if they were envelopes, I would then have to transfer them onto the envelopes. Marmar, can you stop hitting my camera, please? Also, Marlon is still out with me. He's been doing really good. He's just been sleeping. Um, when I went and got my snack, I let him out. So he's been just chilling with me. Um, but guys, we're almost there. And then I will show you all of them. I'll cut. I hope you guys like this format where it's just more talkative and not time lapses. Because like I said, I'm not a huge time lapse person. I like to put on a video and if I look away, I like to know what's happening rather than on a time lapse, you can't because it's just music. But, excuse me. Here are all of these. Let's place these eyes on. I don't think there is any on this one. We need one on subscriptions. St. Patrick's Day. And family photos. And I think those were the only three, but I cut an extra one just in case. Oops just in case I need one more. So now I'm going to cut these all apart so that they're all like singular. And then I'm gonna slide these into a cello bag and then we're gonna move on to the next color, but we can cross off cheetah because we're finally done with cheetah. Here is all of the cheetah. There's 56 cheetah labels, and I am doing the other labels, which there's one of each. Don't mind the dog hair on my mat. It's, you know, life with dogs. But here's how I'm setting up my mat, and then on the Cricut app, you can snap mat. So it takes a picture of your mat, and then you click use, and I'm able to move these to where they need to go. And I'm gonna look at my screen to make sure I put them on the right color. And I can cut all these colors at once, which will check off all of these colors besides black and silver hollow. And then this will complete the order for Shaylee. Shailene? So I think it's Shailene. Sorry if I pronounce that wrong. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to send this, I'm going to make sure they're in the right color and then I'm going to send this to my Cricut and next after that we need to, I'm going to start cutting the next color because there's more than one of each and then we're going to cut transfer sheets for her labels, which will be quite a few and then we'll be ready to package up her order and get it off, which I'm so excited because it's already two o'clock, which is crazy. All right, I have these all cut, so I'm going to trim up the edges on these last labels. And that one's good. And then this order is done. I did not expect this one order to take so long, but I am happy it's done and I'm very thankful that she plays such a large order. I really hope she loves all of her envelopes. I should cut more in frame, shouldn't I? I just like to trim them up a little bit um, so that they're not like as, have so much excess on them. I, I love when people get like all different colors because it's so fun but at the same time like if there's like multiple it's kind of hard because then I have to do multiple sheets but sometimes I can do like what I showed you guys with the snap mat and do them all at once and it's super easy 
I also love when vinyl has clear backing. Like, I don't know why. It's just, I love it. Okay, there's the scraps. Let's get a protector here. Slide these. And while these were cutting, I cut some transfer sheets. So I have in her order um, a bag of transfer sheets, all her cheetah, her business card, the note saying to, um, you can use the transfer for more than one. And there's that. We're going to seal this up. And this order is off to, I'm trying to push out some of the air, off to Canada. Look at that. It's so many labels. So next I'm going to cut the black and silver hollow. And when I get those ones put together, I think is when I'll come back and show you them just so that I can get those out. And then I will come back to package up um, I'll show myself packaging them and then sliding this in the envelope as well. And then that will be the end of this part of my workday. And I still have to make my envelopes. So hopefully I have time today. If not, I will upload. Marlon just knocked over my tripod. If not, I will upload another video of me doing my envelopes. But let me get to cutting the vinyl for the next order. Okay guys, so I am sticking on the labels now for these orders. So I have a binder order here. I'm trying my best to not flip to the shipping label. Um, my large order for the labels, their address, I have to wait for them to respond to me on Etsy because the one on Etsy is like not completed all the way. So I need to have them respond so that I can print off their label. Um, so, yeah, and then I have my other label order here. Um, I definitely do not have time to make my envelopes today because I have to do that um, food safety course. And that, I think, is like an hour or so long. So I'm going to do that. It's 3.30. Um, and I normally like get ready for bed around like 536 and then I like to get into bed around 7, 730. Um, and then I lay awake for a little bit until I fall asleep. Um, so the shipping or this one doesn't have to be shipped out till the 30th. So I'm on time. I just have to wait for that order and that's the only order open in my shop right now. So if you want to give me something to do on Wednesdays go place an order on my Etsy shop. Um, I'm going to have Mike drop these packages off on his way to work tonight, but that's going to be it for, here's my, that's going to, can you not bite my arm? Drop. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go because this guy is getting rambunctious. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do my food safety course and all that. But I'm going to post my cash stuffings on Saturdays now. Um, so I'm going to post my vlog today on Wednesday. And then I'm going to do a cash stuffing on Saturday. And then I'm going to make... Can you let go of my arm? Now he has my bracelet. <laughs> go get your toy. Um, oh my gosh, I'm distracted. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to post non-cash stuffings on Wednesdays and cash stuffings on Saturdays. So I will post a vlog of me making my envelopes, I promise, but I'm just not getting to it today. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys on Saturday. If you guys like this long style, chatty, no time-lapse vlogs, leave me um, a blue heart down below. All right. And I will see you guys later. Bye guys.